75th Independence of India. We celebrate this Independence Day with great enthusiasm. Our dream memory is sacrifice of our nation. On the occasion of 75th Independence Day, let us go through a brief account of the events and struggles faced by our freedom fighters to give us the freedom fighters we enjoy to do. This nation by Amina of Greek 7. Timeline of Indian history from 1857 to 1947. The various stages. The freedom struggle had various stages in the form of many rebellions and armed revolts throughout the nation during the first hundred years of British rule. Revolt of 1857 in India The Indian Rebellion 1857 was a major and ultimately unsuccessful rebellion of India, uprising in India from 1857 to 58 against the rule of the British East India Company, which functioned as a sovereign power on behalf of the British Crown. The event is known by many names including the Sapio Mutiny, the Great Rebellion, the Revolt of 1857 and India's First War of Independence. The First Indian National Congress founded today, 28 December 1885. From its foundation, 72 individuals and active help of A. O. Hume, a retired British officer until the time of independence of India in 1947. The INC was considered as the largest and most prominent Indian public organization. After independence of India in 1947, Mahatma Gandhi asked the leaders to dissolve the IFC and form a new organization to govern the nation. INC was formed for a platform for civic and political dialogue of educated Indians with the British Raj. Remembering the pangs of partition of Bengal, Bengal was the biggest province. British Raj, who knew that glory was about to fade, 19th July 1905, Lord Curzon announced the partition of Bengal, divide and rule. The undivided Bengal province was huge. 1904, Curzon declared Bengal is too large, administers as single province, it will be partitioned. Motivation behind partition. Effective management or pay more attention to the eastern region, or this lead to an effective boycott of British goods. Some protests turned violent, shop selling foreign goods were burnt. This anchor gave birth to Swadeshi movement in Bengal, launched by the leader Vivin Chandrapal, Arvind Ghosh, Surendranath Banerjee. Then, 1915, a Lucknow Pact was took place. Rolat Act and Jallianwala Bag Massacre in the sense Chambaran, Keda and Ahmedabad gave a boost into the Indians. The British decided to exert more controls over public activities. As a result, British proposed Rolat Act in 1919. Named after Sir Sidney Rolat, it was assigned to govern political activities in the country, the political parties put into the court without trial for two years Mahatma Gandhi abused the Royal Act, Act by starting a peaceful Satyagraha is a justice a civil disobedience cleaning with Hartal 6 April 1919. It was followed by rallies, strikes by railway workers and closing down of shops to summit up the day-to-day -day work of across the country was brought to a grinding halt. As a result, several local leaders were arrested and Mahatma Gandhi was prohibited from entering rally. 100 years ago, on this day, a tragedy unfolded. On that, history claims as one of the bloodiest and darkest days of the Indian struggle for independence. The Jallianwala Bagh massacre in April 1919, the British government was at the pinnacle of its rule. Tension was brewing in the city of Amritsar, Punjab, Emirates, and protest against the tyranny of the British and continuous relations by the British Raj. On 13th April 1999, Colonial Dyer received the words of a protest meeting being organized at Jallianwala Bank. He led his troops and stomped into the back armed 
with rifle where about 20000 unarmed people had gathered some in protest on the rawlat act and other in celebrations of the festival of baisakhi the british troops blocked the only entrance to the vault garden and indiscriminately opened fire with no means to escape people ran helter skelter for their lives to save themselves from the firing some jumped into the well dying in its confining depths the blood bath ended only after the british troops had exhausted their ammunition the official death counts as recorded by the british government was 379 with about 1100 wounded but the actual death toll as per the international congress was over 1000 with about 1500 injured the khilafat and non cooperation movement the khilafat and non cooperation movement closely connected anti colonial struggle and especially during the first world war indian people faced lot of hardship such as shortage of food increasing taxes people all over india fought against such problems till mahatma gandhi appeared and suggested new mode of struggle based upon new method called satyagraha on the principles he organized peasants movement against british it became successful encouraged by these movements gandhi ji launched the nationwide satyagraha against the royal act act in 1919 which proposed to detain indian political leaders without trial the movement entered in jallianwala bag in amritsar as a result several violence took place around the same time indian muslims were anchored by the way the british treated the emperor khilafa of ottoman turkey as a result muslim brother proposed launch khilafat movement gandhi ji united hindus and muslims together this led to non cooperation movement in december 1919 aim of the movement is to non cooperate with the british goods british government boycott of british schools army police and use of foreign goods everyone resigned from the schools however different sectors of the indian society interrupted movements in different ways in this time middle classes responded to the movement with a lot of enthusiasm by resigning the from the schools was formed by jawaharlal nehru and baba ramachandra in october 1920 this mass movement was withdrawn by gandhi ji due to the chauri chauri incident in february 1922 mahatma gandhi agitated against british government by starting another movement that is civil disobedience civil disobedience means to violate unjust and oppressive law formed by the british government politely mahatma gandhi accelerated civil disobedience movement to to decrease the tax on the salt accelerated civil disobedience movement to decrease the tax on the salt every indian had to bear the lord of salt tax to us also the demand of congress to cancel the tax of salt mahatma gandhi selected the place dendi of gujarat for breaking the salt by using passive political resistance movement gandhi ji started his journey with selected followers on 12th march 1930 mahatma gandhi started the journey mahatma gandhi and his followers started the journey from sabarmati to dandi and crossed it 385 km in 25 days by walking he violated the law by preparing salt from the fissure of dandi and then the movement of 
civil disobedience started all over india this movement was a good step it is described that gandhi ji prepared handful of salt and castrated the british empire darasana passive political resistance was important in civil disobedience movement it was led by sarojini naidu in 1942 august kit india movement immediately afterwards gandhi ji was arrested however the young activist jay prakash narayanan carried over the movement reorganizing the strikes the main demand of kit india movement was demanding an end to british ruling in india so gandhi ji proclaimed to the nation to do or die pandit jawaharlal nehru at first unfolds the national flag footage of nehru flag hoisting first independence on 1947 august 15 midnight august 14 1947 symbolized the rebirth of a nation after a century and a long struggle for self determination the constituent assembly paid tribute to mahatma gandhi the architects of indian freedom as jawaharlal nehru first addressing the nation when the world sleep india wins freedom on the day august 15 people gathered to welcome the new age and with a peaceful country lord mount batten became the first governor general of india after by hoisting the national flag people gathered at red fort on this day lighted up our country from dark faces of the british thank you for watching the timeline of our country thank you